Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, here we are at game number two between Millennium's Feast and Slayer's MMA. This time we are on the map Cloud Kingdom, MMA, our red Terran player, spawning over here in the lower left hand spawn position, and in the upper right hand spawn position we've got Millennium's Feast, our blue Protoss player. Alright, so, wow, last game MMA uh, ends up winning while catching Feast off guard in the center of the map. That was a quite unfortunate situation there for Feast as he was away from his High Templar. That significantly hurt him as MMA was able to stim up his bio, land some EMPs, and even get some snipes on the High Templar as they attempted to join the battle. Really, that just positioning really screwed Feast that game. I mean, he was slightly behind, yes, uh, but wasn't enough to guarantee a loss there. The loss was guaranteed when his High Templar got sniped and were, weren't even there for the start of the engagement. Again, just, uh, yeah, very unfortunate there for Feast. Very, very unfortunate indeed. Now we are on the map Cloud Kingdom. If you haven't seen it before, I'd like to just take you on a quick tour around the place. Here is the main base ramp leading right into the natural expansion right over here. Now we've got a ramp leading up into that natural expansion with destructible rocks covering about half of that. And then an entrance leading into a third base over here. And that continues on through over into this position which leads into a far outlying base. Now, that's a lot of angles to have to watch because you do have to watch over here from a pathing units moving in from this third position as well as the ramp right here that has to be spotted and an additional expansion right below that natural expansion right over here. Uh, that's one that you're going to get a little bit later down the road though. That is of course mirrored on the opposite side. In addition to that, we have got some Zelnaga towers in the center of the map and some more destructible rock ramps as well. Pro moving on up now for Feast and unable to get any uh, real harass down as the SCB is just about finished there with that Rax. Is he going to finish the wall off? No, actually goes with the attachment. Tech Lab attachment. MMA opening up with a Reaper expand of this game. Early Tech Lab. Just going to assume it's a Reaper. He could go for a Marauder first. Maybe Marauder Concussive Shell, but it doesn't seem as likely. Let's see what happens though. Is he going to do it? No, it's not going to be that. I didn't think so. <laughs> Reaper expand here from MMA. You can see he's, he's really saving up those resources, which will allow him to come out with that expansion sometime very soon, making sure he's not getting supply blocks as well with the depot. Now Probe realizes what's happening here. Spotted the tech lab. And uh, he's going to just try to continue to harass. Oh my. Got a kill. The Probe got a kill. <laughs> Wow, that is crazy. That should not have happened. MMA's got to be kicking himself there. This is going to feel uh, sweet, sweet revenge here. Reaper's like, you killed my friend. Two shot. Goodbye. And Reaper now moving out to get some scouting done and a bit of harass. However, he will, of course, be walking into a stalker. So not a lot he can do there, unfortunately. Stalker will really prevent this from doing much of anything, but man, that's that's quite unfortunate. It really is for MMA. MMA should not have lost that SCV there. I am not sure uh, why he was not paying enough attention. Now, immediately going into Engineering Bay after the fact, coming out with Marines and some Stimpak research. Also, of course, we can see that expansion that with the Reaper expand. I was going to try to get off, get, kill the Zealot here. Fortunately, the Stalker moves on down and will force the Reaper away. Probe getting ready to move in for secondary scouting at some point. Uh, and uh, actually dropping a pylon there as well. We could very well be seeing some harass here with this early three gate. Uh, one gate into expand, followed by those two additional gateways. Pushing with the three gate, uh, you certainly have an opportunity to do some damage. And this could certainly be for that fact. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. See what he decides to eventually do. Stimpak plus a level one weapons upgrades coming out here. For Slayer's MMA. Feast now with the expansion finished. Warp Gate research finishing. Perfectly synced there with the completion of those two gateways. We're seeing Warp Gates pretty much immediately out, out of those. Let's see, is he mobilizing? Ooh, it looks like he is. Feast hanging back with one Stalker just to deal with the Reaper that could make it back into the base. Zell and Stalker pushing out. Warping of Stalkers over here. Early aggression from Feast. Three warp gate stalker pressure against this heavy marine force here from MMA. I don't know, man. This could do it. MMA does have a bunker up, which helps him significantly. He's going to want to get some guys down for a repair autumn immediately. He needs to get some guys down to repair this. There we go. You can see it on the minimap. He's pulling on down there with a bunch of SCVs to repair. And 
Feast just decides to pull back as MMA with the first bunker complete and a second bunker almost finished. Realized oh, he's not going to be able to do too much here. Decides to pull back. Reaper making it back into the main. Duh, almost gets a kill. Does, almost gets two kills. Ends up just dying though to the Stalker. So unfortunately, their uh, four feasts, the early pressure did not end up working out for him. MMA is still concerned about a continuation of that push. Is actually chilling out here instead of mining. Really wish you'd get back to mining right now. They even sacrificed an SCV to see if that's still coming or not. But as we can see, Feast has pulled all the way back. So MMA is idling these workers for nothing. For absolutely positively nothing. Okay, so there's the SCV pulling forward. And he's like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> hey, hold up. Hold up one second. There's nothing here. Hmm, okay. We go back to mining. Coming out with another Arax. We'll be, uh, he's finished that stim pack. So coming out with that combat shield right now. Don't expect to see much more pressure from Feast anytime soon. He's coming out with that Blink Research. So could push out once that is complete. As well as four additional gateways. So we'll be on seven gateways. As we can see here, no Robotech. Uh, sacrificing, going for the Robo and getting the Observer. For getting the Blink Stalker Research plus an additional gateway early on. So that was kind of the resource trade-off there that we saw from Feast. Feast has total map control. As MMA is still kind of a little turtle up here. Uh, quite a bit concerned about a continuation of that initial pressure that he saw. Do have a small force moving out across the map. Nothing too sizable at the moment. Another pylon. Now with the blink research complete. It looks like Feast is deciding. Now's the time to push. So blink research coming on through. Last of the gateways coming out as well. Gonna get a warp gate immediately. And here we go. Blink stalker pressure now coming from Feast. His early game aggression wasn't too effective. So deciding to follow that up here with some higher tech. We'll have to see how this ends up doing for him. What he's going to do is push on the bunkers, try to do damage, and of course blink back those injured stalkers. He's got one sentry here for a guardian shield. And he's got to try to make sure he protects that as well. He needs to keep that up. It's going to help him a lot. All right, so here we go. Blinking back the injured stalkers. Actually drops a force field with him instead. Okay, so that's going to prevent some of the repair action, but also prevent some forces from pushing up just as close. And the factory scout is going to start burning, and that gets dropped, actually. Not very close. Let's see if he repairs it or not. A zealot, as well as a few more stalkers. MMA is going to try to hold steady here. Really surprised, honestly, that we didn't see that Guardian Shield instead. Guardian Shield really would have cut back on a bunch of this damage. Blink Stalkers, injured Blink Stalkers, pulling back whenever they can. The sentry gets dropped. Oh, this is not working at all for a Feast. Feast has dedicated a lot to this. And he's already lost a ton of resources. Oh, no. Feast. This is not working for him. The bunker is filled with Marines doing so much damage. We've got the 1-1 upgrades. Obviously, the armor isn't really assisting the Marines in the bunker, but the weapons upgrade certainly is. Beast pushes. He needs to do more damage here than he has. He's committed now, blinking into the bunkers. He's taking a lot of damage, though. The 1-1 one upgrades, plus with a few Marauders in the mix, SCVs come and join the fun and feast engagement. Is looking to not be doing so well here. MMA tearing through the forces. Pulls back as he's got a few injured units, but he is still fine. Feast did not do enough damage there. He is too far behind. Look at that discrepancy in resources lost. Feast, this aggression. I'm sorry, man. That was a failure. That did not work for him the way he wanted. I'm not saying Feast is a failure. I'm just saying this push failed really bad. Uh, the upgraded Marines in three bunkers with a little bit of repair action was more than enough to stop that initial push. And things are just kind of looking worse and worse here for Feast. He's going to continue to try to push, but again, 1-1 one, one upgrades, stim pack research, and so much bio out right now, switching into Marauder Heavy. He's going to rip through these forces, pushing Feast back, taking out the pylon. Now with the medevacs in play as well, Feast just calls the GG. Feast attempted a two base, seven gate blink stalker push here against MMA. Unfortunately for him, MMA with 1-1 upgrades, 
three bunkers up and a little bit of repairing had no problem defending against this push and actually Feast ended up falling very far behind in resources lost just because he was unable to do enough damage to justify this push and was unable to really break that frontal wall off without losing significant forces himself. Game number two going to MMA. We'll be moving on to game three in just a moment here in the series between MMA and Feast. As always guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.